Well, as kids progress through another school year during the pandemic, 10 on your side is keeping a close eye on who it's impacting most and how. Last month in our Pandemic Pass or Fail series, we showed you how the pandemic is affecting virtual learning in rural Suffolk. Now, the system created wireless access points so students can sit in or outside of schools to get work done. 80 miles away in another rural district, administrators created a wireless system on wheels so students can stay home. Ten of your side's Lex Gray has that story. The idea for smart buses came along in Matthews County long before COVID-19. And it allowed uh, the kids to do their homework on the way to school, during field trips, and to sporting events. When schools went to virtual learning in March, the buses didn't sit idle. So since COVID came around, we have been able to repurpose these by placing the buses throughout the community. Technology Director Michael Anthony says the smart buses serve families in Matthews County who live in dead zones where they can't access the internet at home. It's essentially wireless on wheels. Superintendent Nancy Welch says in a survey of families, 22% in the district said they didn't have internet speeds fast enough for online learning. Some of our families have maybe one bar of satellite access, but that will not support synchronous online learning for their children, meaning you know FaceTime with the teacher virtually. Just as they did in the spring, four of the smart buses go out every day. Each can serve about 40 students. That's not all the affected students, but it does cover about three quarters of them. I see them as a temporary solution. A temporary solution to a much bigger problem. That's where Judy Rowe comes in. My basic wish, I feel the need for speed. <laughs> High speed internet, that is. Rowe is the chair of Matthews's Broadband Advisory Board, who describes the county's broadband deficit this way. It, it is totally an equity issue. Rowe says the cost to connect a single home in Matthews County can come in anywhere from ten to fifteen thousand dollars. In a school system where nearly half the students rely on free and reduced price lunch, that's far out of reach. It's, it's discrimination of, on the worst level. Her board is working to get federal and state grants and funds to expand access. So we have a conglomerate of problems here, but they all focus around broadband. Anthony, Rowe, and Welch are all focused on getting students the access they need right now. But long term, Welch says the solution lies beyond grants and smart buses. And until the federal government steps up to make this mandatory, we're struggling and we're not alone. This is something that you see across the Commonwealth and across our nation. In Matthews County, I'm Lex Gray. And uh, that was Lex Gray reporting. There are limitations to measuring the success of the Smart Bus program. The district has not yet measured a change in grades or attendance since those buses were deployed in the spring.